Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers, and in this episode of Mattressology, we're gonna talk about the 10 mattress marketing gimmicks. Let's go. Okay, so we know the mattress industry has a lot of gimmicks. There's a lot of marketing gimmicks. I hate to say it, I've said this in another video, but these gimmicks can cost you money. So I went down, like, what are the marketing gimmicks that we've seen that are still being told or that has done in the past? And this is what we see quite a bit. So Gabe, what would you say right now would be like the biggest one, or at least not the biggest one, but the first one? One of the biggest one is uh, cooling mattresses. That's the cool. one that I have a, a gripe with. Yes, right? cooling mattresses. When I say cooling mattresses, what do you mean by cooling mattresses? So if you've done mattress shopping, oh, you're gonna see a lot of them. And I think it's a lot of them is silly. You got diamond infused memory foam, copper infused. I've seen one silver ions, graphite, yeah, gel, gel infused. Like it's it go, the list goes on. Whatever they can infuse it with, they're gonna throw it in there to call it a cooling gel, right? Or cooling something. Yeah, and the theory is like you know it's supposed to dissipate heat away from you. It sounds good. It sounds very. And even if you touch it, like if I if you touch one of those mattresses, it actually does feel a little cool to the touch initially, you know. Yeah. But a lot of it is the same principle that is going on. Like if I touch this piece of metal, it's gonna feel cool to the touch. And a lot of those they'll last up until a point, 10, 15 minutes. You know, some of these phase changes are a little bit better, but after a while, they're still gonna heat up to your body temperature and they're not really gonna cool you, you know? So what we found, what is, we found it works. It, it might most... make it a little bit cooler, might. I don't, I'm just saying might it, because I imagine they're doing some type type of studies and they're saying, well, look, it's, it's bringing it down half a degree. Yeah. Maybe not even that, but so it might. It From might. our experience, In though, our it doesn't yeah. do jack. Yes, right? yes. It just stays, uh, you know, it, it heats up because it's not very breathable. So what you want to look for is breathability in order to sleep a little bit cooler. Yes. Yeah, you definitely want, breathability is the most important thing where it's going to get airflow. Yeah. You know, and there are certain materials that are better. Cotton, wool, those are some of the better things that breathe better rather than polyester. If you're torn, I taste, I say this because if you're torn between two mattresses, one mattress is $3,000 with cooling technology and the other mattress is $2,000 without any cooling technology, you might be better off just saving that extra money. You know, because a lot of that cooling technology, you're not really gonna notice it. Because like also, when you put your mattress protector on it, you put your sheets yeah. on it, it does not, you're, you're losing a lot of those benefits of what they say is the cooling technology. A lot of that is a marketing gimmick. Yes. You know, it is made to increase the value, perceived value of the mattress. Mm -hmm. So just remember that when you're looking at mattresses, you know, and you're torn between the two, you might better off save, the, save that money. You might not need that extra cooling technology. All right, so the next marketing, uh, mattress marketing gimmick is the no flip mattress. You know, what, 20 plus years ago, 20 years ago? About 20, was, over 20 years ago. Yeah, there was double-sided mattresses. Now everything is one-sided. Yeah, and we already did a video on this. I'm not gonna go too much in detail, but here's the concept. You know, mattresses used to be double-sided, Marketing guy says, hey, let's make a single-sided mattress. They don't have to flip it anymore because nobody likes flipping their mattress. So essentially, you got half the mattress for the same price and the life expectancy went down. So double-sided mattresses did end up lasting longer than a single-sided mattress. Yeah. However, you know, mattresses, the, the whole industry kind of went that way. And um, I mean, if you kind of think about it, if you can't rotate your tires on your car, you know, like let's say uh, the tire guy said, you can only, you don't have to rotate your tires on the car. There's a new tire technology that you have, that you don't have to rotate your tires on your car anymore. You think those tires are gonna last as long as if you rotate your tires? You know, of course not. And that's essentially what- Right, the, what's happening, right? Yeah, the double-sided mattress versus the single-sided mattress. And we'll link so, to this, that video that we talked a little bit more about it in depth, yes. right? Okay, so the third marketing gimmick that we have seen is the whole one-size-fits-all mattress. This was big in the early days of when the online industry started, right. online mattress industry started to boom. You know, Casper was really big doing this. Um, they had a thing like the one size fits all mattress. Tough to needle. Or tough to needle. Yeah. Um, I think Lisa, I'm those- I'm all these companies, Le right? Yeah, Lisa had one. I just remember these, the, the advertisements is the one made for everybody. Yeah. Those types of ones. And now if you look at their websites, they have like, four or five, six different mattresses. Mm -hmm. And we all know everybody's different. You yeah. know, there's so many different body types, but they did a great job at the marketing it and getting people to, to, to buy in. And um, it was just, it was all marketing. It was all marketing and they did a great job at it, but we all know that there's not a one size fits all mattress. So many different body types, so many different options. Right. So don't buy into that one size fits all. Cause obviously, you know, bigger, smaller, 
heavier, some like it firmer, some like it softer. Yes. Yeah, you gotta kinda test the mattress out. Yes. Right. Okay, number four marketing gimmick is the online influencer mattress reviews. Now, I was a little debate on this one, is it a gimmick, but it is, a lot of it is a gimmick because a lot of these mattress review influencers, if you go on a lot of these YouTube channels, you guys know which ones I'm talking about. These are marketing sites. They're paid marketing sites. They're not gonna give you like an honest assessment on like how low, how good is that mattress for you? Just because there's no way they can know what it's for you. And plus they're getting paid. Once you start getting paid for here, click this link, you know, and use my promo code to save 10% off, you know it's a marketing site. Right. Yes, it, you lose a lot of credibility. Just don't base your mattress decision on that because some influencer or some YouTube reviewer, you know, said buy this one. A lot of it, they're paid, you know, and we're gonna do a whole video on that. We're gonna go a little bit more in depth in these mattress um, mattress re review sites. Yeah, there's free product and say, hey, just give us the, giving us a good review of this mattress, right? Yeah. And then put a link and then here's 10% that you're gonna get a kickback or something, right? Yes. So take that into consideration when you're looking at those mattress review sites. Okay, so another marketing gimmick that we have seen quite, this has been with us for years, you know? It happened offline, companies were doing this and they're still doing it online, these crazy, insane mattress discounts. When I say crazy, like 40 to 80% off mattress sales. And this isn't going away anytime soon, right? I mean, this is gonna be part of the industry. It is, right? it is. Yeah, you'll, and here's why, because these companies are not gonna sell it at this price ever. Very, very, very rarely are you gonna see them sell it at this price. For example, let's say you buy a mattress for $500. Like the wholesale cost for the retailer, sell it for 500 bucks. Generally, industry will sell it for around a thousand bucks, you know, but these guys are saying, hey, this is a $2,500 mattress, regular price. I'm selling it to you now for $1,200. They're still making that, that margin on yeah. there. So a lot of these, those online or those crazy discounts, they're just, they're fake. They're, they're, they're phony. Those prices you're gonna see, they're arbitrary, don't believe them. Yeah. You know, so unless, the only time I'll say you can believe them is, I mean, if it's like a clearance model, that like one that's either a floor model or something that's discontinued, then I, I, they're probably legit. Yeah. But for the most part, when you start seeing like their everyday pricing, you know, is gonna be normally $3,000, now it's- 800. Yeah. It's probably never really intended to sell for $3,000. Yes. So don't buy into that. Don't don't buy into those crazy discounts. Yeah. All right. All right. The next one is going to be the fake discounts from salespeople. And, yes. You know, we're not talking about the 40, 80 percent off. We already hit that one. The fake discounts is going to be more like, hey, I got to, you know, we just got a big truckload coming in. And hey, you know, I could take this much money off that mattress. If you buy it because I have this overstock mattress. Yeah. Or um, I mean, what's another one that you've heard, you know, that, that other salespeople would use? A, a unique one I've heard was that, you know what, we have like a stack of mattresses that are over 10 feet tall, but by OSHA standards, they can only be like eight feet tall or six feet tall. So we got to, you know, we got to sell some off. Yeah. I have heard that, That's you know, that one, that one was pretty creative. Yeah. So these, these discounts that a lot of these guys will throw out to you, you know, they're, you know, be able to drop 500 bucks off like that, you know? Yeah. Canceled like, orders, Canceled right? orders, yeah. You know? The canceled orders, like, yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Wagner, you know, they order the wrong size, queen size, or king size, but they need a California king, yeah. you know? So the, and so those are the ones that a lot of those times they're fake discounts, you know? They're justified discounts, yeah. what, what we'll say in the industry. And so. you know what, I would say on that one though, the canceled order, we make ours to go, right? We make ours to order when a customer orders a mattress. Um, then it gets made, right? Yes. So if we've already made it and it's in our warehouse ready to go, and if a customer cancels at the last minute, yeah, we may just give a time. Yeah, yeah there might be less. Oh, yeah. We've had it, that happen in our stores. We've had that happen in our stores. Yeah. So it's like, hey, they ordered a full size and it should have been a queen. It's like, man, I got this full done. I'm going to. I don't want to sit on it. Yeah. Right. So, but a lot of those times, you know, they're little tactics, they're sales yeah. tactics. The next marketing gimmick that we see in the mattress industry is these crazy coil counts, overinflated yeah. coil counts, or or companies leading with the coil count to make it better. Right. You know, and coil count it can be important when it comes to like the the quality of the mattress sometimes, yeah. but it's not. Don't make your don't make your decision based on coil count because yeah. sometimes they say, oh man, this coil has a thousand coils. This guy has two or 3,000 coils. Like yeah. what the huge discrepancy between coils. More so, is better, right? You would think. 
you know, according to the, the, the website, yeah. you know, but how do these guys get these crazy coin accounts? Yeah, usually they start with their support layer in the springs, right? Yes. They put springs there and then got another layer of like another micro coil, micro coil, coil, right? Yeah. Inside another one of the comfort layers. And so they're just doubling up. Yeah. Right. Micro coils are good. I, I'm a fan of micro coils. You know, they have other place, but it's when you it's, don't make your decision based on this guy has two or 3000 more coils than this mattress. It's just because the micro coils, they're replacing a layer of foam or, or a padding. Yeah. So yeah, these insane coil counts can be gimmicky. Yeah. Okay. So the next gimmick that we see is these mattress, these low price guarantees. Yeah. Oh yeah. So. All the time we hear, we see that, you know, you go to, I mean, on this road right here, there's a few mattress stores and um, where we're at, and uh, you know they have that low price guarantee. And well, the reason why is because you know they're not they're naming their mattress a little bit different. Components are the same. Yes. But it's the mattress thing that's different. Like, hey, give me the and such, you know, mattress five thousand, and then you go to the other store. Like, oh, we don't have that. We have something similar to it. We have a five thousand and one. Yeah. You know. Right, but you know they're they're giving it to me th this price. Your guys' price over here. Ah oh, man, well ours is five thousand one. Yeah, right? yeah. So or they'll they change one little layer in the bed, so it's not the same exact mattress. I mean, there's, you know, you'll never compare. You know, going from store A to yeah. store B, they're gonna have different names. You know, for the most part. Or um, you'll see, yeah, we have the lowest price, or your mattress is free. Yeah. You know, and again, they know they'll never honor that because they will. You can't compare. You yeah. really can't compare two stores together because of the pricing and the names are changing. So yeah, just remember that, you know, it sounds good, low price guarantee, but um, I, I don't think I've ever seen a company honor that low price guarantee. Stick that in the back of your mind when you go there, ha I caught them, right? I'm gonna get them, a, get that little, you know, a free mattress. Yeah. Eh, they're most likely you're not. So the ninth marketing mattress gimmick is gonna be the sales countdowns on these websites. I don't know if you guys ever been on those websites that like, okay, they have a ticker, this sale ends in seven hours and 29 minutes and 32 seconds. It's starting, you know, you just see it ticking, you know, what's crazy is go back on there tomorrow, man, you got a they new have, one. yes, yeah, you got they a have one. a new one, yeah, yeah. you know? So I, I don't know if people are, are now just, they're fed up with it and they're privy to it, but go back next week. That, that countdown, that price is still gonna be there. Yeah. You know, I'm willing to bet that price is still gonna be there. Find you know, another sale, a National Donut Day sale or National, you know, whatever, right? Yes. So, yeah, you know, and they go by the fear of loss. They, they're going like, okay, I don't wanna miss out on this. So you yeah. make a quick decision where well, you didn't do your homework. And I say that because, yeah, you can like make a decision rashly, you know, by, by pulling the trigger on a purchase when you could have waited a little bit, yeah. take a little bit more time to test out the mattress instead of being the fear of losing that sale. So yeah, do not base your, watch out for those little countdown on these websites. And the 10th one that uh, the mattress marketing gi uh, gimmick is gonna be, I mean, we heard this a lot actually, is that your mattress doubles its weight in about eight to 10 years. Yes. Right? I mean, that's just, when you sit back and think about it, you're like, dude, that's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Right? Yeah. And I, you know, I admit I was guilty of that years ago. You know, some um, rep told me that, and I read it on a website, and it just was been self perpetuated that whole myth. Yeah, you need to get this. You need to replace your mattress yeah. because what? It's eight years old. Oh my goodness, ten years old. It's double its weight. All those and, dust mites, all your dead skin in that mattress. Oh my gosh, how do you even move that thing around now, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's a myth and it's a gimmick to make you buy more mattresses. Yeah. Here's the thing, if your mattress is good, comfortable, um, you're still getting supported, but it's like, you know what? My mattress has double weight. I think I need to spend another 2,000 bucks to get a new mattress. You can hold off, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? But if you need a new mattress, replace your mattress. So yeah. yeah, do not fall for that mattress doubles in weight every 10 year myth. Well, you guys, I hope this helped you. Um, I, this is some gimmicks that hopefully that you guys will be able to cut through when you're on your mattress shopping journey. You know, if you guys are on your mattress shopping journey, we put together a guide. Mm -hmm. It's a mattress guide that can, breaks down tips on mattress shopping, mistakes not to make. So Wait, anything else? Click on the link below, right? You know, if you click want on the link it. below, yep. And then um, any questions, you know, comments, you know, leave, you know, just, Throw, throw the comments down in the section. Uh, like, subscribe, right? Hit yep. the bell to be, you know, to be notified of our new videos that come out. Yeah, and then we go a little bit more in depth and the um, the number one marketing gimmick on the no side, you could click on that one too. I think that would be a good one to watch next. And um, yeah, Mattress Myths, those are the two videos I would probably watch next. 
on it. So yeah, give us a subscribe, give us a like, get the notification. And if you're on your shopping journey as well, you know, I would highly encourage you guys to visit your local mattress factory, mattress factory direct place. You know, they're usually a little bit more knowledgeable on getting you something with more value right. in it. You know, a bit less fluff and a little bit more substance on a lot of those. If not, give us a ring, give us a call, reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to help you. Yep. So thanks for watching. Thank you.